The port of Mombasa, East Africa's largest and busiest seaport, is the international maritime hub of the East and Central Africa region. A key facilitator of international seaborne trade, the port of Mombasa provides seamless direct connectivity to over a hundred seaports worldwide. Managed by Kenya Ports Authority, the port handles over 30 million tons of containerized and conventional cargo annually. The port of Mombasa boasts of a large and well-secured natural harbour with deep water inlet of 45 to 55 metres at its deepest centre. And with the dredging of the entrance channel, the port can accommodate some of the largest Panamax vessels in the world. Serving the hinterland of Kenya and the countries of Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, South Sudan and Northern Tanzania, the port of Mombasa is the nerve center of the rapid economic growth being witnessed in the region. We bring in about 16,000 tons of goods every month. The port is our bloodline. All of the material which we order, um, whether it's uh, raw material or even spare parts and consumables, everything that we order comes through the port of Mombasa. Ici, de la production d'ici à Tesa est exportée en grande partie aux enchères de Mombasa, à peu près 90%, alors que moins de 10% est consommé localement. We are importing most of our raw materials, uh, practically 85-90% of our raw materials is imported. We are importing through the port of Mombasa. Uh, we export throughout the region around the Great Lakes and we also export overseas through the port of Mombasa. Over the last five years, cargo throughput has registered a steady growth rate of 8.0% annually from 22.307 million tons in 2013 to 30.345 million tons in 2017. Container traffic registered an all-time high of 1,189,957 TEUs in 2017, up from 894,000 TEUs in 2013. This performance compares favorably against the global average growth rate of 4% per annum. In 2017, total imports through the port of Mombasa were 25,604,000 deadweight tons. Containerized cargo accounted for 7,502,000 deadweight tons, conventional cargo at 2,003,000 tons, dry bulk at 7,920,000 and liquid bulk at 8,179,000 deadweight tons. Exports recorded 3,034,000 deadweight tons of containerized cargo, 133,000 deadweight tons of conventional cargo, 547,000 deadweight tons of dry bulk, and 80,000 deadweight tons of liquid bulk. Uganda commands the lion's share of the transit market, accounting for 82.35%, with South Sudan at 7.80%, DRC at 4.17%, Tanzania at 3.15%, Rwanda at 2.08%, Burundi at 0.5%, Somalia 0.25% and others at 0.15%. The improved port performance is as a result of a robust policy on investment in modern infrastructure and associated equipment, the optimal utilization of ICT innovations in its operations and a dedicated and highly skilled workforce. The modern and efficient ship-to-shore gantry cranes record speeds of 20 moves per hour. Container vessel turnaround time at the port of Mombasa is now down to a record low of 2.6 days, comparing very well with other top container ports in the world. Mombasa to Kigali now can make four trips a month which had never happened before. We used to make one or one and a half. 
The Port of Mombasa's state-of-the-art cargo handling facilities that operate 24 hours, 7 days a week throughout the year also include rubber-tired gantry cranes that operate along the entire length of the berths, reach stackers which are powerful and flexible equipment for handling containers within the stacking yard, empty container handlers for quick and efficient stacking of containers, terminal tractors that enhance container yard operations and skeletal trailers. Investment in key port infrastructure is a hallmark of the Mombasa Port Development Project initiated in the year 2007. The first phase of the construction of the second container terminal, the Kipevu Container Terminal, is now operational, increasing the port's capacity by 550,020 feet equivalent units. The second container terminal boasts of three new berths, bringing an additional 900 meters in key length to the existing 840 meters with an alongside depth of 15 meters. A 50 hectare container yard for phase one and another 17.5 hectare yard for phase two. Upon completion of the two remaining phases, an additional capacity of 1.5 million TEUs will be achieved, bringing the total ports capacity to 2.6 million TEUs. This will have more than double the capacity of the port. With such expanded capacity, efficient modern cargo handling facilities and an online business platform for transacting with the Kenya Ports Authority, the Port of Mombasa now offers economies of scale to efficiently handle bigger volumes of cargo at competitive costs. A single customs territory at the Port of Mombasa has improved efficiency enabling transit cargo to be cleared within a shorter time. Before it used to take like 21 days, from the time the consignment arrives at the port up to the time it's arrives at the, our border here. But now it takes between four to six days. Road box has been removed totally. From here up to Mombasa, there is no permanent road block. Uh, goods that are destined to Tanzania, Rwanda, and Burundi are cleared within the port. Taxes are corrected within the port by the Tanzania Revenue Authority, Uganda Revenue Authority, and Burundi Revenue Authority. In the single uh, customs uh, union that we have right now in East Africa, we have a common external tariff, so therefore tariffs are unified. And now we're going towards where duties are paid only in Mombasa through, through electronic systems. Goods will flow better. We can export right up to Egypt, Sudan, uh, Somalia, the whole works down to Zimbabwe. And that's going to be a lot of usage of the port and seaport. Every harbour has its own secrets, Hence, it is the highly skilled local pilots who expertly steer vessels in and out of the harbour. Tugboats with 55 to 60 tonne bollard pool are marshalled to berth and unberth vessels. From the control tower that stands over 86 metres high, all vessel movement into and out of the harbour is closely monitored. Kenya Ports Authority has installed an integrated security system. The project involved the setting up of a main security centre and security backup centre, a closed circuit television system with hundreds of cameras strategically located for port surveillance, a taut barbed wire perimeter intrusion detection fence, detector grid barriers for protection of water channels, an access control system with X-ray, and metal detector equipment at entrances and alarm controller systems. The well-equipped and highly trained personnel is on standby round the clock, ready to respond to emergencies at the port of Mombasa. Apart from securing the safety of vessels, cargo and people within the port area, the unit also responds to emergencies within the wider Mombasa city. 
The authority recently received two modern mobile harbour cranes with the capability to provide dust and spillage-free discharge operations for dry bulk cargo handling. The equipment, with a complement of eco-hoppers, has a dust control system that minimizes escape of dust and reduces running expenses by 30% on average. The Port of Mombasa is linked to efficient and effective rail and road connectivity throughout the Northern Corridor. With the operationalization of the standard gauge railway, the line will run from the Mombasa port to Malaba, Kampala and then Kigali a distance of 2,935 kilometers. The new line is expected to reduce the cost of freight from the port of Mombasa significantly. I'm going to make the whole process of moving cargo uh, more streamlined, more efficient and timely. Yeah. The upgrading and expansion of the capacity of the inland container depot Nairobi from 180,000 TEUs to 450,000 TEUs has improved Mombasa port handling capacity, ship turnaround time and cargo dwell time. This, among other key port performance indicators, give the port of Mombasa and the Northern Corridor a clear competitive edge in this region. Kenya Ports Authority's presence in the East and Central Africa region is manifest with the existence of liaison offices in Uganda, Rwanda and Burundi. We are really happy. They are near us. So if we have any issue here, instead of taking a plane to Mombasa, which is an additional cost, you take two days to see the officer you want. You take another week to solve the problem that has taken you. Here you just walk to KPA office and it will be sorted out immediately. And it has been done several times. As a policy, Kenya Ports Authority strives to work and engage closely with all its customers and stakeholders, providing them with critical and crucial services. It's a good thing to have a KPA liaison office here. We, we don't have to go to Mombasa if uh, there is any query. We just have uh, uh, near us a liaison officer. Kenya Ports Authority has invested heavily in automation of port management by continuously upgrading ICT systems, cargo handling equipment and human resource training and development. Customers and stakeholders easily interact with the Kenya Ports Authority on an online internet platform to access services at the touch of the button and in the comfort of their offices. We are able to process invoices for port charges uh, we have KCB in uh, Kigali, so we are able even to pay when we are seated here in Kigali without going to the port to ask for the invoice, without going to Kenya to pay for port charges, so it's very easy now. We do have also an electronic cargo tracking system, whereby I'll sit even at home, even on my mobile phone, I'll be able to know where the cargo has reached, then I'll be able also to advise the clients, the clients accordingly. Oil tanker vessels carrying crude oil and refined oil products discharge their cargo at the Kipevu oil terminal for onward transmission by a pipeline operated by Kenya Pipeline Company to Kenya's hinterland. As the East and Central Africa region gears to become a major producer of oil, plans are at an advanced stage to build a modern and bigger oil terminal and jetty to replace the existing Kipevu oil terminal. This will increase oil and gas LPG handling capacity. The jetty will have the capacity to simultaneously accommodate four vessels compared to one vessel at a time being handled at the current Kipevu oil terminal. The construction of a second port at Manda Bay in Lamu and managed by Kenya Ports Authority forms part of a new freight corridor connecting Lamu, Ethiopia and South Sudan, known as the Lapset Project, one of the country's Vision 2030 flagship projects. With the planned 23 berths for containerized and general cargo, Lamu Port will also have an oil tanker terminal 
served by a pipeline to deliver crude oil from South Sudan, Kenya and Uganda. Plans to develop Shimoni port into a fully functional port are underway. Situated off Wasini Island on the south coast, with a wide and well-sheltered deep channel for large seagoing vessels, the port has the potential to accommodate increasing coastal trade volumes. The current jetty serves the vessels destined to mainly Pemba and Zanzibar Islands. The port of Mombasa is on course in its plans to be one of Africa's transshipment hubs. Kenya Ports Authority is committed to increasing productivity of the port of Mombasa by continuously improving on service delivery to meet and exceed customer expectations, investing in appropriate infrastructural and capital developments, increasing cargo throughput, enhancing labor productivity, enhancing the port's financial performance and prudently managing business risks. Kenya Ports Authority. Growing business, enriching lives.